Thank you, Mr Speaker, for granting this urgent question. And it is incredibly disappointing, but not unsurprising, that the Prime Minister, of whom I asked this question, is not here today, despite not having any official engagements. And I think, Mr Speaker, his absence speaks volumes, as does his smirks on the media. The public have already drawn their own conclusions. He can run, but he can't hide. Mr Speaker, I received an email this morning from a man called John, who told me on the 20th of May 2020, I found my long-time partner dead on the bathroom floor. I'd been unable to get a GP visit for her, and she had suffered terribly for some time before the blood clot stopped her heart. That day, the House heard from the Prime Minister himself that 181 NHS workers and 131 social care staff had died. Many people made huge personal sacrifices. And the Minister, quite frankly, hides behind the grey investigation. There's no need for an investigation into the simple, central question today. Did the Prime Minister attend the event in the Downing Street Garden on the 20th of May 2020? It won't wash, Mr Speaker, to blame this on a few junior civil servants. The Prime Minister sets the tone. If the Prime Minister was there, surely he knew. The investigation was sent, the invitation was sent to 100 staff many of them his own most personal senior appointees. This was organised in advance, Mr Speaker. So did the Prime Minister know about the event beforehand and did he give his permission for it to go ahead? And if so, did he believe this event was, was keeping with the restrictions at the time and the guidelines? And was the Chief Medical Officer consulted before it went ahead? And what did the Chancellor know about the party, given that he lives and worked next door? And can the Minister confirm that no other Ministers were present? And finally, Mr Speaker, can I ask the Minister here today, does he still believe the Prime Minister to be a man of honour and integrity? Uh, Mr Speaker, Her first point was that the Prime Minister was not here in person. She knows, as well as everyone else in this House, that it is not routine for the Prime Minister to answer urgent questions before this House. But his ministers ministers are appointed to do so. But he also attends this House more often than anyone else to answer questions, and will be doing so tomorrow in the normal way at Prime Minister's question time. Uh, She mentioned the loss of um, suffered the appalling loss suffered by one of her constituents, and my heart goes out to that constituent and indeed to all of the others from whom we have heard in this House, on all sides of this House, who have suffered tragic loss as a consequence of this appalling pandemic. There is a need for an investigation. She said there wasn't. Uh, There is a need, and that need is clear. The investigation is in progress. It's being conducted by someone... uh, with whom we have great confidence uh, and a, if I can put it this way, a paragon of uh, independence and integrity uh, and in the civil service of long standing. She is conducting that investigation and the Prime Minister uh, was one, was of course himself affected by the consequence of a COVID-19 uh, infection. Uh, he takes this matter very seriously, uh, as does everyone in government. But I will say this. She she asks if I have confidence in the Prime Minister's integrity and honour, and I do.